How do you start an online business from home and with no money? There are thousands of successful online businesses that started with no money, and today, they are making thousands of dollars in revenue. In fact, many of them have no physical presence but are operated from home with remote teams. To start an online business you don't need to have prior knowledge on how to run a business. Running an online business is different than managing a brick and mortar store. In today's video, we will talk about how to start an online business step by step. These are the 10 steps to follow to start an online business from scratch. Step number 1. Decide what type of online business to start. The first thing to decide is what kind of online business to start. There are many options and depending on the type you choose, you'll have different ways to monetize your business and make money. The most popular types of online businesses are e-commerce stores selling physical products, such as Amazon, Etsy etc. Websites selling digital products, such as ebooks, online courses etc. Consulting or coaching, such as personal development coach, fitness coach etc. Selling services, such as digital marketing agencies, software development, web design etc. Online news publications, such as HuffPost. Niche blogs, such as travel blogs, clothing and fashion blogs etc. The most popular methods of making money from your online business are 1. Selling your own products physical or digital. Selling products directly to consumers on your own hosted website or through an online store on a third-party marketplace like eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Udemy, etc. 2. Advertising revenue. Making money by selling ad space on your website either directly to advertisers or through an online platform like Google AdSense. 3. Drop shipping. Selling physical products on your own store but shipping and handling is done by the product manufacturer or B2B provider. You get a commission every time a product is sold. 4. Affiliate marketing. You refer clients to the seller's website, for either physical or digital products, and when a product is sold, you get a commission. 5. Revenue from consulting services. You get paid for providing consulting services online, by email, Skype or other means. 6. Subscription-based model. You make money from people subscribing to your monthly services, for example hosting, online tools etc. Step number 2. Find your niche. The next step is to find your niche. In other words, to come up with an idea that can be transformed into an online business. This is the most difficult step because it has a lot of uncertainty. Nobody can tell you in advance if your idea is good or not and no one can guarantee that your business will succeed or fail. It's a risk that all business owners have to take but this should not hold you back. The only way to find out if your idea is good is to try it and even if you fail, there are so many things to learn from failures that bring you closer to success. You should understand from the beginning that you don't have to come up with a unique idea in order to succeed online. If you can do it, then this will give you an advantage but uniqueness is not a requirement for setting up an online business. You can take an existing idea and improve it or create something, a product, blog, service, that is better from what is already available on the internet. Some guidelines that will help you are. 1. Find what are you truly passionate about. 2. Find what you are good at. 3. Are you an expert? 4. Can you spot any gaps in the marketplace? Step number 3. Evaluate your idea. Evaluating an idea means finding out if a particular idea is something that you can turn into an online business that will potentially generate profit. Follow the steps below to evaluate the potential business success of your idea. 1. Do a thorough Google search. Naturally, the first thing to do is go to Google and search for keywords related to your idea. Go beyond the first page of Google and look for the second page as well. Some businesses don't pay the required attention to SEO and while they have good products and content, their search engine optimization techniques are not good enough to rank high on Google. How would you rate the overall user experience when searching for this information? Can you offer something better to the users? 2. Search Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest. Perform the same search on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Pinterest. Try to figure out what kind of content is being published on those networks. Is it high-quality videos? Is it images, articles, products? How many interactions, likes, comments, do the posts get? Can you spot something that is missing or that it can be improved? 3. Do a search on Amazon. If you are considering opening up an online store selling physical products, then you need to search on Amazon and see what others are selling. Use different keywords to search for products and also look at Amazon's best sellers to get an idea of the popular products per category. 
4. Do an affiliate marketing search. Even if you don't plan to follow the affiliate marketing model, you can still use the different affiliate marketing sites to find out which products are being sold, their price, the number of providers and much more useful information. Step number 4. Analyze your potential competitors. A potential competitor is one or two companies that are already selling products or services that are similar to what you want to sell. For example, let's say you decided to make an online business selling custom-made parrot cages through an online store. You already evaluated your idea and found out that there is enough demand from users, and that there is room to create a better product. The next step is to find out more information about your potential competitors. Using different tools you can figure out how much traffic they get, which channels they use to sell their products and how much they spend on online advertising. Step number 5. Identify your target audience. The final step before actually setting up an online business is to identify your target audience and create buyer personas. This step is critical because the outcome of this exercise will determine how you will approach the next steps. What you are looking for at this stage is answers to the following questions. Who can potentially visit your website? Who can potentially buy your products? What is their gender or age? Where do they live? What languages do they speak? What is their education level? What is their ethnic background? Which social networks are the most likely to use? Who are the online influencers of your target audience? Which other websites are the most likely to visit? Which online forums or groups do they use? Getting straight answers is not always easy at this stage because you don't have any data of your own, but nevertheless, you should do this exercise before you get started and enhance it as you go along. Step number 6. Decide on your brand name and register a domain. Once you get to this point, it's time for the exciting part and is no other than selecting a name for your brand and registering your domain name. Things to consider when choosing a brand name or domain name. Find something catchy that people will remember. Keep it as short as possible. Make sure it's easy to read, type. Add a keyword that's relevant to your niche. You can use different tools to check if a domain name is available but before proceeding, you also need to ensure that. 1. No other companies are using the same brand name on a different domain. 2. Check all social media networks to ensure that the name is available. 3. Check that all variations of your domain, for example, .com, .net, info, etc. are available. 4. Avoid choosing a country-specific domain. Step number 7. Set up a website for your business. The next step is to bring your business to life by setting up your website. If you plan to set up an e-commerce business selling physical products then you have two choices. The first choice is to set up your own self-hosted website and use WordPress and WooCommerce to create your shop, and the second choice is to use a website builder like Shopify or BigCommerce. The second choice is faster but as your business grows, you will need more flexibility and customization options, so it is highly recommended to start with your own WordPress or WooCommerce website. For other types of businesses such as niche blogs, websites selling services or digital products, Amazon affiliate websites, the best solution is to use WordPress. WordPress is flexible and user-friendly and there are a plethora of read-made themes you can buy for less than $100 and set up a professional-looking website in minutes. Step number 8. Learn what digital marketing is all about and create a digital marketing plan. Coming up with an idea. Registering a domain name and setting up a website is one thing, promoting your business online to get traffic and make sales, it's a totally different story. This is where digital marketing comes to the rescue. In short, digital marketing is the process to follow to promote your business online using all available digital channels. The most important digital marketing components are website marketing, search engine marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, content marketing, and video marketing. Now that you have a better idea of what digital marketing is all about, the next step is to come up with a plan. At this stage, you don't have to make your plan very detailed but it's enough to outline which digital marketing channels you will use and in what order. Some tips to help you out. 1. Start with paid ads. Paid advertising channels like Google Ads, Bing Ads, Facebook Ads, and Instagram Ads work faster than any other channel. 2. Test one channel at a time. Don't rush into creating campaigns on all channels at once. This is not a good practice even for experienced marketers. Start with Google Ads and then gradually add Facebook, Bing, YouTube, and Instagram to the mix. 3. Build brand awareness. 
One of your digital marketing goals should be to build brand awareness. This means spending time and money at the beginning to make your brand known to as many people as possible. 4. Build a community. When crafting your promotion plan, you should always remember that building a community around your brand is the best way to guarantee long-term success. Having people that follow your brand on social networks, searching for your brand name on Google and signing up for your newsletter is what will generate constant growth, loyal customers and more sales. Step number 9. Optimize your website for search engines. Search engine optimization or SEO as it is widely known is by far the most important process to grow an online business. SEO is suitable for all kinds of websites, all kinds of online businesses and all platforms. People use search engines on a daily basis to find answers, products, and ideas and the way to increase the visibility of a website on search engines is through SEO. SEO will help you get more targeted traffic that will lead to more sales, build a community around your brand and establish your business as one of the leaders in your niche. SEO is not complicated but it takes time. It may take months to a year for a new website to show up on the top positions of Google but it's something that you need to do if you want not to be dependent on paid traffic. SEO is about optimizing a lot of small things on a site that together can make a big difference in organic search and traffic. Step number 10. Establish your social media presence. There are many ways to utilize social media networks to grow your online business. 1. Secure your presence on all available social networks. You need to do this from the beginning to ensure that no other company will register your brand handle. So, make sure that you create business pages on all available networks and not just the ones you plan to use. The most popular today are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube, Vimeo, and Snapchat. 2. Update your business information on all social networks. Besides registering on all networks, you also need to make sure that your business information is accurate and up-to-date. For branding purposes, use the same logo and background image on all networks. Make sure that both the logo and images are representative of your brand. 3. Keep your social media pages fresh. Adding fresh content on your pages is important, because it is very likely that potential customers will check your FB page before making a purchase. When you update your social media pages regularly, they will show up on the first page of Google when users search for your brand name. This is very important because you can control what users will read when doing a brand search. There are tools like Buffer, HubSpot and others you can use to schedule your social media posts and create a social media calendar. Now that you know what it takes to start and promote an online business, you can safely decide if running an internet business is for you or not. Running your own business is a great experience. And if you do things correctly and in order, there is nothing stopping you from running a profitable online business. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked this video hit the like button also subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update.